to get to the soul, get beyond the subconscious. That's the purpose of Kriya Yoga. Read your precepta every day a little bit and meditate. Meditation is a practicing the presence of God. Kriya Yoga is the highest practicing the presence of God. How the soul descended into the body and how to take it back to the spine and the brain beyond the confines and the prison of the body into the vast infinite. And that's what you are trying to do. Your mind is on the surface of the body. You like to see what is good, hear, smell, taste, touch. And that's where you are locked up. Your consciousness is locked up, but you have to withdraw it, dim it away from there and gradually take it beyond the muscles and settle it in the spine. That's what Kriya Yoga does. Spine and the brain are the altars of God. That's where the electricity of God flows down into the nervous system, into the world. And the searchlight of your senses are turned outside, outwards. And that's why you love the senses. But when you will reverse the searchlight through Kriya Yoga, and be concentrated in the spine, you will behold the Maker. Thousand million suns do not describe the light of my Father. It is not a glaring light, but a light that is gentle and indirect, which is spread all over the world. In that light, in the glimmer of that light, all the universe you will behold as if in a mirror. So that's why do not in any way be a slave to the senses. Do not in any way be trapped by the senses. All the senses were given that you may be their master. Temptation was not given to destroy you, but to increase your strength. If you do not Fight with a stronger person, you never get strength. The rest are always fights with a stronger rest. So the senses, you think they are strong, but you are stronger, and if you fight with them, you will be stronger. If you give in to them, you will be weaker, and down and out, and all your happiness will be gone. God has purposely given sex and other senses not to destroy you, but to try your strength, to bring the immortal strength within, that you may recognize the great power of the infinite sphere of spirit which lies behind your little throbbing heart. 